Hey guys, Ethan Studios here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the LEGO Avengers Infinity War Thor's Weapon Quest. This is set 76102, has 223 pieces, and retails for $20 in the United States. First, let's take a look at the minifigures. Here is Thor, and this is the first time we are getting his updated hairpiece that is now short instead of the longer hairpiece. He does have the same head used from the Thor Ragnarok sets, which looks great. Love the new Power Blast pieces here, which were first introduced in the first wave of DC sets earlier this year. They do just connect to this and clip it to his hand. He does have this new torso print, which is a bit simple, but nothing too big. No leg printing. And on the back, he does have a little more torso printing, but like I said before, very simple. Here is Teenage Groot. And in my opinion, this is the best figure to come out of this Avengers Infinity War wave. I love this headpiece here. It is very interesting. And it is very well molded. He is holding a piece of tree here that's coming right out of him. Great torso print. I think they did a good job with it here. No leg printing. That is no problem. In the back, just continues on. And like I said before, great torso printing. You can get a better look at how his head is molded. And yeah, this is a great figure overall. Definitely the highlight of the set for me. Here is Rocket Raccoon, and this variant was included with the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 sets, and he looks great. There is no need for a new one. He does have this nice gun piece here, and he does have a pretty awkward looking smile, as you can see under there. If you take the headpiece off, you can get a better look at the torso print. And then on the back, he does have this tail piece, and it does need to be facing upward for him to be able to stand and it does lift off like that you can get a better look at his back torso print here is, here is the pod included with the set and this is a very well put together build looks a lot better in person than it looks on the set some nice stickers along the side here and then on the back it does look a bit incomplete but that is because it is supposed to fit into the Thanos ultimate battle set the Ravager ship this connects to the back of it Along the sides, some more stickers. You do have two stud shooters on top, which just shoot off like that. This top piece opens right here, and you can take Rocket Raccoon out. And then on the back, this does open right up, and that's where you can fit Thor in there. So you can take him out as well. The top of the pod does lift off like so. You can see there are two stickered pieces, which add some great detailing. And you can see inside, this is where you can fit your third figure. Unfortunately, Groot does not fit in here because he has a pretty large headpiece here. But the average minifigure can fit in there just fine. So this pod has space for three minifigs. Here is the actual weapon quest part of the set. And you can take your Thor minifigure here. And this just pushes right out. And this is where he gets his new hammer slash axe, and this replaces Mjolnir. Looks like Groot has lent him some help with building the handle there, and you can just give him the weapon. This does make good use of the new power blast pieces on here. I like how they incorporated that into the build. And this turns around using a little knob back here. This is a door piece, clear door piece, and this moves in and out like so. And on the back here, we have the Infinity Gem included with the set. This is the Power Stone. Here is the Power Stone, and like all Infinity War sets, there are three extras included, which is very nice to get in case you do lose one. They are pretty tiny. It does fit into this gold cap piece here. The stone comes out like so, and can fit onto the Thanos Infinity Gauntlet easily. The set also includes some of the new Power Blast pieces, they were introduced earlier this year, and they look very nice on display. The rest of them are included in this Thor's Weapon Quest piece right here, so that's nice. You can clip them into their hands using these clear stud pieces right here. So that's pretty much it for this Thor's Weapon Quest set. I do like the blue pod included much better than I thought I would, but a bit disappointed with the Weapon Quest part of the set, and that is the main feature. So it is a bit of a disappointment, looks a little weird to me. This is sort of a strange set in that it does not include any bad guys. You just get three good guys here, although these are very desirable minifigures, especially this Groot figure right here, this Teenage Groot looks very good. 
Love the head mold they did for that. So overall, not a bad set. Again, great to get another infinity gem here. And the power blast pieces are always nice to get. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.